We've seen how easy it is to record a track, but each track can include multiple subtracks called lanes. There are three recording modes that handle lanes in different ways. These modes are the same for audio or instrument tracks and are called takes, overdub, or replace. You choose the default mode in Preferences for each type of track, but you can also choose a track's mode individually by right-clicking in the track header. Let's show how you'd use each mode in a typical recording situation. One good use of overdub mode is building up a drum part. Create an instrument track, then choose an Acoustica Studio Drums kit. Record the kick drum. Return to the beginning and record a snare part. It creates a new lane. Now return to the beginning and record the hi-hat. It creates another lane. Because each part is on its own lane, you can edit it individually. It's easy to compare the sound of lanes. You can play an individual lane and mute individual lanes. After you've perfected the part, you can leave the individual lanes as is or merge them into a single lane. Once merged, you can delete the empty lanes. And there are other lane options that add or delete lanes, mute all, unmute all, or select all. With MIDI instrument tracks, you can also choose a MIDI channel for the lanes. Suppose you're adding rhythm guitar to a drum part. You like the guitar, but you think you can do a better take. This is where takes mode is ideal. Like overdub mode, you can now record a new take which creates a new lane. Unlike overdub mode, Recording a new take mutes previous takes automatically, as indicated by the take turning gray. You can try different takes, then listen to each one to decide which one you like best. Or use the mute button to hear each take in context with other tracks. Keep the best take, delete the rest, then delete the empty lanes. Now suppose you recorded a rhythm guitar part over the drums, but it has lots of mistakes and there's no way you'll use it. This is where replace mode comes in handy. Now when you record, it replaces the previous take up to where you stopped recording. So far, we've shown how to use these modes with complete takes, but another video from Mixcraft University shows how to use these various modes for more detailed editing.